Let's watch this and I'm going to critique it. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I'm going to give you some, com some bias, rather. Surfside's engineer they hired. Um, so he doesn't give a fuck about the witness statements. Witness statements say that the collapse started from the deck. So what's he do? He does a PR public relations thing saying, look, let's take the carpet up to one of the rooms here. And we're going to check the floor inside one of the rooms. Witnesses state, left and right, phone calls prove it, that the collapse started from the deck failure. Is he showing core samples from the deck? No, he's doing smoke and mirrors. So this, they, don't want, they don't want the truth out. Other than that, he's old man and incompetent now. And I say old man, I mean he's had his time. His cycle is over with. You know, maybe he snaps his brain's not firing. Death toll in Surfside rising to 94 today. 83 of those victims have been identified. Let me fast forward a little bit. On Local 10, we are getting a look north. The building developed by the same architect and structural engineer. Yes. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live with the exclusive Christina. I like some of his projects. They are pretty. You are about to meet. Describes companies. all the variables he's looking at in this investigation, like a huge Rubik's cube, if you can imagine that. It really is structural detective work. And right now, tonight, he is taking you with him on his hunt for clues. So if you do it up here. Hunt for clues. So he's showing him. Let's look at this column. Apparently, if we look at the background, way up here, at the top floor somewhere. Well. You know, up here, it's just, you know, here. And so he has no drawings with him, no markings, no indicators, no phone out, no no, no recording going on, making, you know, documenting location. It's just, you know, random smoke and mirrors bullshit. You know, this would be really very precise. You know, four foot up, three foot over. You want to be very precise on this, not just, that's give me right there. You want to be consistent with all of it. You want to figure out where you where you would think this would fail, where it would buckle, and you'd say, let's test it there. That seems like it would be the, uh, the weakest point or the strongest point. At one point, they overlap this, and, and you look for cracks and things like that. You can't see cracks with it was covered with, with stucco, but you could sound it. Hey, get the golf club. Hey, the other one was, uh, you're going to see him taking up the carpet in here now. Remember, he's just, by doing this, this is, this is changing the narrative. You're not going to, don't look at the deck. Don't look at the deck that collapsed. We know the deck collapsed. Don't look at that. Let's make the videos and public get Channel 10 News to show us work up, show that the building's sound. Get between the signal bars. The man Surfside hired to investigate the cause of the sh And he's like talking, like here's how the rebar is supposed to be like that, showing it's, it's placed up and down and some stirrups. That's what that little indication probably was. But here we go. You can see where his view from his uh, his view from where that where he's doing his testing. Champlain Towers South collapse. What this says to me is the slab was poured as it was going to be a roof. Alan Kilsheimer of KCE Structural somebody Engineers. So somebody volunteered. They took the floor up, right? So why the carpets up? This is where you would look over here. To see if you're getting any any drop of the floor, you look at doors if they're dropping pop tiles, are actually a great indicator. But it looks like he's grabbing a floor with no cracks in it, and he's going to do a core sample and take it off and get compression tested. That's nice. That's going to verify whether that floor had the right psi. It would be nice to do that with every floor, every pour that you knew had took place. You so you would find out. On each floor, pulling back each carpet, aha, there's a seam. So this, there was a cold joint here. So let's see, they probably had the truck come in again. So let's check this, this side over here also. But in this case, it would be interaction with the structure that you would matter, which would be the steel in the columns, the floor pads and the columns. So that's where you want to use your, 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 your money spent trying to figure out where the steel is. And... He's going to just compress some steel, concrete. That's nice. So he's going to determine it's 4,000 PSI. Well, we are, so what? But they didn't put all the steel in. It's just, you know, it's 4,000 PSI with a building that's ready to collapse the same way as the other one if, the, uh, if it goes by the, via the parking garage again. Might run into waterproofing or roofing. That's a possibility. Then we'll decide what we drill in the structural slab below. It's taking you with him. We're going this way. 
It's the radar stuff I was telling you about. It doesn't work that fast. But there's the radar stuff I'm telling you about to find the, uh, the uh, depth of the rebar. See the bottom clear. Okay, look. That was just some... What did, he got a, a spatula pulling back the pad that's, that's not stuck. You know, this is smoke and mirrors bullshit, you know? This is the uh, PR stuff. Can you help us out? Yeah, we'll help you out. You know, we're the news. With we, him. We work with, we work with governments all the time. All right, while well, you got the pad back, you look for moisture. No moisture. That's where you have to see the bottom floor. You see how fake that was? That it wasn't... You got him down. Come on. Look at his spatula. Okay, let's start right there. Okay, let's go forward now. Spatula. Pull it back. Pull it back. Look, they're rolling it back already. Look, and he's going with the spatula. Missed. <laughs> Look, watch, watch, watch again. Hey, pretend like you're pulling it back. Wear your mask now. Watch this. Missed. And then jump and then add it out to there. We're, it's it's a lie. The cha ABC new ABC the so whatever local ten, local ten whatever. You're being you're being bedazzled. This is uh this is actually a nice nice uh, wet vac. As he searches for clues at nearby Champlain Towers North. So there are actually two layers of fill. This is when they leveled it up. This is the. They should already be marked and ready to be crushed somewhere, sampled. All right, so this came out of the floor, and like you said, so this is the the regular pour, and then a, the, the the leveling for the whatever the material may be for the uh, tile or carpet. Um, but this should already be marked and ready to be uh, sampled, sampled, put away to be crushed. Uh, with that said, this shows the size of the aggregate, your paste. Um, you know, I can't see it. it's over. It's over uh, uh, lit right here. But this looks like uh, some nice size aggregates, um, all intermixing and locking together with some nice paste. Uh, yeah, I, I like the aggregate size myself. I'm a, I'm a three eighths inch P guy. I like three eighths inch P. Phil, they put in. We are that's in a not three eighths inch P. That's just, that's angular stone. Once you cut it like that, it looks like that. This unit, we're the structural engineer. We have scanned uh, parts of the slab. And we have scanned parts of the slab. Doesn't mean shit. You want to scan where it interlocks with the damn columns. So, you know, and what's your result? And some columns to locate reinforcing steel. Is directing crews to drill into concrete from a unit's balcony column. From a unit. And floor. Okay. So this guy's going to wet these people's damn car uh, st carpet down with his, with his uh, saw. All right, he's already finished anyway. And then we have... That was already finished, guys. That was smoke and mirrors also. Because you see the uh, the gap around there? Put it back down there and drill it. And then, okay, and then action. And we have drilled some concrete core samples. Uh, because normally you got to pop that. You pop it after you drill down so much and it a fracture. But in this case, there's a floor down below. You drill through this. You wind up in the ceiling below, right? So, uh, where the hell did this... How the hell did he get this flat sample like there? And that's weird. And it in looks... In the slabs uh, of... So that's the ceiling down, but let me get a closer look at that. So that would be your leveler, but I don't see leveler down there. Um, so he cut through it. So what's this, the ceiling down below? There's a hole right through the floor. Pointing the reinforcing steel where we could. The hole. And hold on. What are supposed to be like eight inch decks? That guy's holding it uh, one finger up. Let me imagine that. It's about four or five inches. So, uh, yeah. What's going on here? What, what, am I being, what am I being shown here? Because it didn't, didn't it call for like a... 
Is that only four inch deck there and no reinforcement there in that, in that, in that random sample spot? Hmm. He went right between the reinforcement. I don't see any down there. In the slabs, uh, avoiding the, the reinforcing steel where we could. The holes will all be cleaned out and filled in with 8,000 PSI concrete before we leave today. Materials being gathered for now. He's going to vacuum it. So, uh, so that's been popped off. It looks like the pop off there. So he drilled it. He drilled a round circle and fractured it to pop off. Hmm. Because he didn't go all the way through to the floor below. I mean, the, the ceiling below. So that's uh, that's an interesting little break there. Hmm. I gotta consider this a little bit longer. Now I look at the real floor and I can see the condition of it. Now show that shit. Show the show what, what's going on here. What's this? What's this? Analysis. What's this? Show this stuff. Don't show me what's in your hand. Show me all these gouges. What's going on here? This will tell me. Show me what the hell's going on here. The strength of the material that's in this building that we don't know. And so. And then back it up. We're finding. That looked like uh, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. You grab that from the balcony. That might be a piece of steel there. Nah, maybe. So there's a slurry at the bottom. And so we're Top. finding out that by testing it in place. The study of the North Tower just helps us understand a little bit about how the building was put together, and that may or may not be how the South building is put together. Yeah. Well, how about the above? So this guy is like, you know, sleepy time now. Time to get him a pillow. Time to go to sleep. From this balcony on Champlain North, he I know I'm tough guys, can see the footprint of Champlain South. But you gotta Explain realize, you know, sometimes your your doctor's old. You know, your doctor's too old to be treating you anymore. And sometimes when you hire somebody, it's t it's time it's time they're on a pillow now. You know, it's like they used to be a good engineer, used to be. Now they're living on the reputation of their employees, perhaps. Because if he's up there in those decks, and, and not on that damn, not on the deck that collapsed deck there, starting to check the, down in the garage and everything else. He's way up there already. His work investigating the collapse site on site will likely start once the current recovery mission ends. Yeah, this is what she says, once the current recovery mission ends. Yeah. And he tells us today that once he has access to the collapse site, he will then also be gathering materials there. Take, for example, concrete samples. But he did want you to understand that he's at the beginning of what's expected to be a month's long money baby what he expects to be a money contract all right so there's my video on that that this clown this clown needs a pillow it's time for him to go take a rest time for him to join join the elder care homes because he's up here and here he doesn't have his coconuts not snapping all the way i know it's bad i know i'm rough but his coconuts not firing up he may look like your grandpa but Grandpa now needs to go sit in the couch and get a remote control and watch TV. Because Grandpa is not paying attention that the witnesses said the love that the deck didn't collapse first. When we first see the video, we all see the building collapse. Uh-oh, witnesses start saying earthquake, deck collapse. We have to say deck collapse first. So we got to deal with it. We got images of the deck collapse down there way beyond the, the collapse of the structure. We got rebar and steel you can go look at and try to find. No, 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 no. Let me go up here on the floors and check some floors out of here where the garage parking structure matters. So I don't think Grandpa's that dumb. I'm saying he knows how to do smoke and mirrors. So I may be, you may think I'm beating Grandpa up, but I'm saying he's just a hired hit, uh, hired. Uh, Not be how the South Dome is put together. He's just a hired hand for the for the surf for uh, Surfside to not scare the market away. So I know just where to look to give data that says this building's sound. So he's hunting everywhere where, the, where he's gonna come with sound, result, sound results, not where his results are gonna be shit. 
like out on those decks. You find out where they did the repairs on this structure already. Take core samples of the repairs. You'll see it's all flaked apart and everything else. And that wouldn't look good for the news. So stay away from those repairs. Go inside that damn room where you know it's flat. You can see no deflection. Aha! This looks like a good place to get a good sample to come up with good positive results. So, no. I find this disingenuous again. Disingenuous. Pillow time for him. Pillow time. It's all about real estate, guys. They don't want their real estate market value going down. Those witnesses said the date that collapsed first. What the fuck is he doing up here? All right. He's the only one looking look at the fucking videos and, and, and decide it's, it happened up there, up here. What an asswipe. 